I just pursued what I felt good at, what I felt my giftings were. That eventually led me to, to start Mud Love, actually in a basement. Um, it eventually moved to the garage, but it, yeah, it started in 2009, September. My mom and dad, you know, they've always just done their own projects, DIY. My dad was a carpenter, so it's just sort of in my blood. So I had graduated from college in 2008. I didn't really know what to do. I had this ceramics degree from Indiana Wesleyan, so I started working with my dad, doing construction. Uh, but he had some heart complications and the physical labor just wasn't possible anymore for him. And so I knew that this was my last job and that I needed a backup plan. And I had the ceramics degree and so I thought, why don't I just start small? I don't need a lot in life. I, I can live simply and, you know, live <laughs> uh, paycheck to paycheck if I have to. My elementary school art teacher, Mrs. Viona Brown, they, she taught me how to weave this bracelet. I had this stamp set that I inherited from my grandmother. I stamped out these little bracelets. I made about a hundred. I didn't market them. I didn't merchandise them. I just put them on my table and just sort of let them sit there. People would look through my pottery and then they kind of were drawn to these little bracelets with words like hope, love, faith on them. And then next thing I knew, people were buying a bunch at a time, giving them all away. And then those people who received that gift would come into my shop and look for them and do the same thing. Uh, every mug is wheel thrown, which is challenging, but we have some great potters here that have figured out how to do it pretty quickly. You know, they're look gonna be different, but it can't be too far or else, you know, what we represent on the website won't be accurate. So it is, it is challenging sort of this light manufacturing business that we're in, but it is, it is what kind of gets me out of bed, what drives me. The Mud Love community at large is, has really made the bracelet what it is. Um, even early on, people were saying, well, I want to buy 50 and then resell them to raise money for whatever. We took that and built a system for that. Yeah, really, you know, we're just creating sort of a vessel for people. The community, they're the ones really creating the impact um, and we just get to help facilitate that. I felt like God was just calling me to create a business about something other than myself and just making money. At the core of Mud Love, uh, our goal is to put love in action. It can be challenging when we're running a business, but things we try to do are just, you know, even if it comes to outsourcing, it's like, how can we do this in a way that's thoughtful and impactful? After talking to a few people and just thinking about it longer, I decided to support clean water projects um, in the Central African Republic through an organization called Water for Good. Well, the founder that I knew was a missionary at my church growing up, and he was sort of just thrown into this water business. Getting to know him and getting to know his story and the organization, I just really, I knew I could trust the work. And he grew up in that country, and so he spoke the language, understood the culture. It's just a lot of factors and why we choose them and why I think they're a great partner. There's still over 600 million people without access to water. And we've been able to give over a million weeks because of our, our community. Beyond that, I just think people are more aware. And so that awareness just creates conversation. They're spreading the word that here's a huge need. This is a very uh, mission-driven community. They care a lot about you know what's going on in the world, not just what's going on in their own lives. And I think that just resonated with people and they wanted to share it. So. You know, we didn't ask them to share it. We gave them the tool uh, and then they did the sharing on their own and yeah, it, it changed the business. The ability to come back through a hard time or come out of a kind of a dark stage, it's not about us, right? This isn't about us, this is about other people. And so I think I can put, a, put aside my first world problem right now to, to think about the reality of what's going on in the world. And we have four kids and we want our kids to understand, you know, why we're doing what we're doing. 
we want to go to, with, on trips with them to these places eventually when they're bigger and, and show them this is what's going on in the world. And we can't change everything, but we can disrupt some of these things that are happening that are, you know, brokenness and, and hate or whatever it may be. And that's what, you know, that's sort of an impact we can have on them as well as other people.